and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Heimer Karma Control. It's been a while since we've played a Heimerdinger deck and the last couple that we have have been with Lux and with the new Mage Seekers and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, today, you know, putting out the lineup of our five decks to play today and um, I was like, you know, what? let's play Heimerdinger again. So we're going back and trying Heimerdinger with Karma and, you know, just kind of playing uh, this control deck that... Uh, it's been around for a while. It's definitely a good one, um, but you know I wanted to kind of see how it is with the the meta game these days. Doesn't have a lot of sweepers, so I could see spiders giving us a little bit of trouble. But our top end champions between Heimerdinger and Karma are both very very powerful. So let's get straight to it. So we're gonna be playing five games over in ranked, and let's see how it goes. Do we get like a mirror match right away? Doesn't it seem like... Oh, close to a mirror match. So say, it doesn't seem like you kind of get mirror matches all the time. All right, so these both kill Ezreal and Karma, which is why I think I want to keep them. Because they kill those two. For those of y'all just just uh, just join in and uh, you know you're used to me playing ten matches with each deck, I'm changing that for today. I'm uh, I'm going with five matches for each deck instead, and because uh, I, I want to have uh, shorter YouTube videos and hopefully, like I think that my YouTube videos were, were just kind of too long in general, and, and hopefully they. Uh, you know, people will rather watch a 30 to 30 minute to one hour video over a two hour video. All right, they got me. Smells like opportunity. So the problem here is now I don't have, because of how that worked out, I don't have um, the mana to play Heimerdinger and then just have Flash of Brilliance, Twin Disciplines immediately. That's a good draw. Solitary Monk's a good draw. That gives me something to do this turn to set up my Heimerdinger turn next turn. That works out. All right, well, I still don't get the, the Heimerdinger car turn next turn because we got to kill this Karma. What do y'all think about trading? 4-3 for 4-3. Good trade, bad trade. It's obviously a bad trade because my mine's unblockable, theirs is blockable. But, um, hey, what's up, Josh? Uh... Oh, hey, Boo. Um, so that's obviously a bad trade. But the reason to trade is that they are, you know, they're an Ezreal deck. So they're trying to burn us out with Ezreal. And so keeping my life total high against Ezreal is good. So I'm going to actually do this trade that doesn't seem like one that we should be doing. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I it's not yeah, basically I think that my life total is more important than the Ezreal deck's life total. Um
I wish I had the either the man yeah, you know, I wish I had like the mana to play Solitary Monk this turn. Static shock is something that does make like these three ones not quite as good. So we're gonna let this happen, and then I guess I so I, I think I just let the four three hit me. Yeah, I think we're gonna just let the four three hit me now. So I can play I can play monk and play Heimerdinger and play Twin Disciplines. But of course if we play Monk first, then Monk's gonna be really scared of all the germs and probably needs to solve some murders. All the all the things that Monk does. Let's go, Heimerdinger. All right, one mana. They're not going to be able to kill Heimerdinger. So... Do we use a Get Excited? No, we just don't have the cards to, to discard. We really don't have the cards to discard. Yeah, that's, that's a good point there, Shade. We just... We don't have to worry about... Ooh... We get to keep that three mana. That deny looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Protecting barrage. I'm just gonna I'm gonna let that happen as long as Barrage resolves. That's good. I thought you'd never ask. Uh, three mana. They could kill Heimerdinger with the Get Excited. I don't want to play Heimerdinger yet. The problem with denying the problem with denying right there is that if I if I deny that, then it's not that I just lose the seven one because my worst case scenario. So I the worst case scenario is I deny, and then they, um, and then they play get excited in in response and kill my Heimerdinger, and now I just deny to a will of Ionia. My Heimerdinger is dead. I don't have, I don't get any. You know I don't get anything and. Like, Deny would tap me out, and I would just have, like, two Twin Disciplines and a Get Excited in hand. So think, yeah, so I was kind of describing that, but this, I still have a deny, like, I think we have to, we really need to just keep on protecting Heimerdinger. I really, really thought about just letting them do the damage and getting a free spell. But, you know, determined since we'll still have deny available, not to do that, not to let them get the free spell. So 13 mana. That's progress day. And get the 8-8. Eight, eight. Yone! 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 I could see just passing instead of playing this. It's either play this or pass. Could really see either way.
Yeah, their deck plays plays three Yones to to um have the Ezreal level up. It, it's you know two targets for Ezreal. The, the reason why I'm doing this, this will level up the dinger. Now it's a little bit harder to kill at four toughness. They don't have anything that's three mana that does four damage, do they? It's like I could I could play like a five four karma here also, and then I'd have ten mana. And with 10 mana, we could have one of these two plus will plus get excited. Or I just pass. My spirit is an unquenchable fire. You can see some more animations. Animations are cool. Animations are cool. All right, so now we need more space. So now I kind of wish I, will play my I didn't play this one one. I want it to die. We need more space for units. Sounds good. Let's let them draw a card. That's fine. Let's see. You name it, I'll nick it. The, yeah, they're I mean they're Karma Ezreal. It's one of the most popular control decks uh, right now. It's basically like they're they're just playing, you know, they're just trying to target my stuff I'm quite so a bit, good. level up Ezreal, and then kill me with a le leveled up Ezreal. Don't blink or you'll miss me. So now they're just going to try to use... Uh, now they're just going to try to kill me with this Ezreal. By casting all these burst spells. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, sorry, my bad. Man, I just don't have anything to discard, but I want to I want to try to kill this this thing. Don't have anything to discard. I guess it's Will of Ionia. Like, do I need the life steal? Man, I don't have anything to discard. I'm not discarding deny, so we're looking at the other two. Alright. All right, y'all say discard Will of Ionia. There it goes. Hmm. All right, let's go four twos. to attack. I 
think I need to barrier the 8 8 and try to lifesteal with the 8 8. 4 8, 11, 13 damage. They're going down to 1. I think this is just a safe play to get up get up to 18 against us. Ooh, the pickpocket. Pickpocketed to get excited for us. That's a good, good card to pickpocket. G G. All right, one and zero. Got the control mirror. Thank you, Heimerdinger, getting us all those. Like, Heimerdinger is still really good. You know, all those turrets. GG's. So, still very, very good. Alright, now the other Ezreal deck. The other popular Ezreal deck. Ezreal Draven. It's the same kind of deck that we're playing against. Um, get Excited kills Draven and Ezreal, so I feel like we should keep it. This would protect Monk. We don't need it. I really like Flash of Brilliance if we can find Heimerdinger, but maybe I need to mulligan it because we need Heimerdinger first. Hello, Xenio. Go get him, pickpocket. Get him. Hmm. Not getting them. Nope. Not getting them. And just want to keep our life total high. We would be bouncing that thing back to our hand anyway. Whoa! Boot gifting out subs. Let's see. So yeah, if you want one. Let, let boot now. Tread lightly, strike hard. Attack. I have the best job. Why are you so difficult? I think I'd get rid of Will of Ionia. I think that's the worst card in hand. I could have just cast the Flash of Brilliance and then seen what spell we got with Flash of Brilliance. H there we go. HPG pools. Pools getting the sun. Scarface. Thank you, Pools and Scarface, for being here all the time. Also. Let's see. Welsh Dragon. 
Boo's bringing the hype. Love it. Thank you, Boo. Alright, so that this is actually the best card in their deck to deny. They don't have any spells that cost more than that. They don't have deny. They don't like this is their most expensive spell that you can possibly cast deny on. Um So we'll just cast it there. We, of course, really want to draw Heimerdinger. His friend, Shadow Assassin. wonder how brilliant of a flash that we need. See, Progress Day would obviously be a better card to deny, but we can't. It costs... Or it's a burst, burst speed. And Sultani... Awesome. Four great viewers. There, Pool, Scarface, Welsh Dragon, and Sultani. One damage. So they have like Noxian, Noxian Guillotine. I mean, I'm not going to use a spell on this, but um, I just want to see what we get here. Okay, True Shot Barrage. I think it's okay to use one Flash of Brilliance. Maybe we should just use both. So let's see. So we're attacking for six, putting them down to ten. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight direct damage in hand. Or are we putting them down to ten? They don't have counter magic. Right? Yeah, they they don't have counter magic or life gain, right? No, I don't I don't think they have either one. So we can use twin disciplines as a burn spell also. It hit him for nine, put him down to seven, and now we have eight damage in hand and they're at seven. Well, I'm only doing two to them here, so so it makes it so we have seven in hand, and they're at seven. This is the second time we've hit a really nice true shot barrage. No, what's this? What's this? What's this? They're static shocking now. What's this? What's this? They got ten in hand. You suck. All right, five life. Like, they don't have... They don't have any life gain, right? Pretty sure we just have lethal with this five mana, these two cards. Pretty sure this should just be lethal. I can't think of any kind of counter magic or life gain that they have. Yeah, they are good at doing one damage. They are good at that. They're good at doing one damage. Two and oh. That three mana, four, three elusive uh, really did a lot of work for us. 
It got in, what, 9 points of damage? Or 11, 11 points of damage. Two attacks, twin disciplines. Braum Yasuo. Okay, Will of Ionia is very good against Braum. Because they're trying to just protect their Braum and like they use a whole bunch of toughness pumps and stuff like that. We don't really need twin disciplines. We don't pickpocket's not gonna hit. Keep the flash of brilliance. There we go. Oh man, this is great. This is what we dream of. Heimerdinger, multiple Flash of Brilliance. This is the stuff of legends right here. Psst, act natural. I I don't get to play Thermogenic Beam before turn five. Because if I do, I, I could play it now, and then I play nothing next turn. Is it the mustache? Who knows? <laughs> don't want any trouble. Alright, so I'll, I'll just play Will of Ionia probably next turn, bounce this thing. So we don't have to right now, you know, it's attacking for one whole damage. The problem is, are they going to kill Heimerdinger my next turn? No, they can't really, can they? Do I even play these, po these pickpockets? Let's see, I play Pickpocket and Pickpocket, and then next turn, Heimerdinger, and then we have one, two, three other creatures, so that, that means my board is filled, so that then if I even want to play anything else, my board's filled. Hmm. Maybe we play one of them? I don't even know if it's worth playing these. Nothing escapes my way. the problem yeah I could have just passed and seen if, if they played something 4-4 four, four shadow assassin that's quite annoying oh man we're gonna have a We can have like two more Heimerdingers in play. That's too many Heimerdingers. Thanks, stop getting these Dawn and Dusk and Shadow Flares. Those two cards look the exact same. And neither of them are good. I thought they had Elixir of Iron. Thought that, would, thought that was pretty likely. And so, because uh, my other, I was thinking of uh, just going straight to combat and attacking with everything, letting the Braum uh, block my three two, and then trying to do the three damage to Braum. But I thought it was too likely that they had Elixir of Iron. You call that sneaky? Not the best time for Solitary Monk. 
This is only granting followers ephemeral, not champions. So this would not do anything to cast right now. Time to attack. Check out the goods on this one. Oh, we don't we don't have room to dawn and dusk stuff. Like we just don't have room. Yeah, you, know, you can only have the six units across, so like we're we're maxed out on space. Yeah, Heimerdinger is, is pretty ridiculous. Especially, like, when you have Heimerdinger get uh, Flash of Brilliance. That is your really good combo. And we had three Flash of Brilliance, so that went really well for us. Don't have anything to do. I don't think I play Solitary Monk and bounce all this stuff back to my hand. It is easy, see? These old eyes still see far and clear. Thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, I was, saying, I was gonna be saying that I'll take another uh, Will of Ionia. So if I Mystic Shot right now, they don't get to take heart. Is that worth it? Or is it better just to Mystic Shot them? Yeah, I think it's worth it. That's okay. Sometimes I see her just needs warm spot. Cool. We will bounce that. After I attack? No, because after I attack, Brahm will level up. Quelling the wind, huh? It's probably my best deny target. Yep, poor Brom. Just can't get past the the will of Ionia. Like that will is too strong. Smells like opportunity. Alright, kill my stuff. I need more room. Humility before power. Ready the torches. Good. Two things are dying. Alert the villain. Save me, Luke. We 
need more room. Are just insane. These turrets we're getting just for free, just for playing spells. How can end? Everybody's so focused on Ezreal these days. People may be forgetting about old Heimerdinger. So far, we beat both Ezreal decks. And now. We're doing well against the Brom deck. Let's get excited here. Okay. Three now. Our hand was insane, though. If you have, um, you know, turn five, you play Heimerdinger, and then triple Flash of Brilliance. Even if those three cards you got with Flash of Brilliance are not any good and you never play them, like we had, it's still just pretty insane getting the three three one elusives immediately for free. All right, Dubs deny probably super aggressive, probably pretty aggressive. Uh, no other champion, though. You know, no Darius or Draven or nothing like that. So I think we get rid of these. I'm not sure about the Will of Ionia. I kind of want to get rid of that, too. It seems kind of slow. We'll just keep Heimerdinger. We'll just keep that. Um. What's that noise? Okay. I like this. Now we... I'll just trade Pickpocket away. Because otherwise we'll bounce pickpocket. You name it, I'll nick it. Um, I'm not sure, Boot. I guess we'll see how I how I feel. I maybe like we'll see. I don't know. Um, Please, I have connections. <laughs> yeah, I could do some. I may do like some Animal Crossing tonight. I don't know. We'll, we'll kind of see. What, uh, you know, how we're doing after, after the stream tonight, how, you know, how many people are in here want to hang out and and everything. I know I am planning, um, next week, what is it, next Friday, Saturday, I may take, I may take two days off of Legends of Runeterra because... Resident Evil 3 remake coming out. And that was a game that I used to play all of the time. I used to, like, I beat that game dozens and dozens and dozens of times. I need no weapon. Way back in the day. Please don't kill my Heimerdinger. Don't do it. Yeah. The people are my strength. And they are, and they're quite strong also. These people who are your strength. Round and round and round it goes. If I fall, so be it. As fate wills. All right, discarding the pickpocket. I don't really want to block um, here. I could definitely see like Brothers Bond being a card. All right, so are we gonna? Right now, that's me going down to six. This is 7 damage. This is 4 damage. So I can... I could bounce the... Hmm. 
They're basically dead. And so I guess I should probably save the most damage since they're dead. And that's get rid of this thing. Even though, like, my, my best value play is Will of Ionia, the you crowd favorite. Because then the crowd favorite will, will be small again. That's my best value play, but... Um, I'm just going to save... I'm just going to do the play that saves me the most life, because they are very good. go like super aggressive lines that that's what I was kind of debating between is going with the super aggressive line of twin disciplines give plus three on like one of these things and you know then make another floor be gone and playing it but it's not real necessary for us to do that oh your wife started animal crossing first and now you're stuck playing on her island There's worse things, though. I'm sure it's a good island. realizes how dead they are. Well, they... Check that. My opponent does certainly realize how dead they are. Alright, so we were 4-0 with Yasuo mid-range and didn't quite finish out the 5-0. So now we're going to finish out the 5-0 with Heimer Karma. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, Boot, you think, do you think the flight's still going to happen? You think you'll be able to fly next month out here? The one supply that I am low on now that I want to go to the grocery store. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't left the house in, a, you know, I don't know, uh, three weeks or whatever. And I'm good for like a long, like I'm good for a long time on everything except for milk. I need milk. I had two half gallons of almond milk that I was planning on. You know, I had like two extra half gallons of almond milk, but they got kind of ruined in the back of the fridge. I guess it was too cold for them. And I've been trying to like, like they got all frozen and mushy and crystally and crystallized and everything. And I've been trying to, um, you know, I tried to, you know, uh, defrost them and all that kind of stuff and try to save them. I'm trying to save them, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. What's that noise? <laughs> Don't pass up your chance to be the sole survivor. I must get out of here. That is true, you can always drive. Okay. 
But there's still, like, for sure, no, no assignments in Dallas. Houston's not too far away. Fast as wind, light as air. I am... What are you doing? Sacrificing that? That's cool. So I think they're doing this for probably for Black Spear. Is that what we're doing over here? Black Spear? No. Oh, I'm not that far from Houston. I thought I am closer to Houston than I thought. I'm only I'm a four hour drive. I was thinking it was gonna be longer because I'm you know north of Dallas. But yeah, it's only a four hour drive. That's not bad. Hey, we just got ten dollar donation. We're a donation deck. Did it move? Let's see what we got. Um, I can't really play anything, unfortunately. I could just play this flash of brilliance, I guess, and see what we get. Maybe we should just do that. I'll just block. Since I kind of need this solitary monk to die for me to play the other one. Ugh. We're getting the shadow flare card too much. I would have liked True Shot Barrage instead. I guess maybe I should just play the other one and bounce this. Okay, making a Nivea, Thresh, and Hecarim deck. Okay. Nivea, Thresh, and Hecarim deck. In the second slot. Alright, so tomorrow, second slot, sound good? I mean, if I'm not using the man anyway. Let me write that down also. Ionia it. So Callista and Elise. Do I, I probably don't need Will of Ionia later. Yeah, they're playing like some kind of large creature, but they're not. So I can just keep the get excited. Take from the rich, give to me. Come closer. I don't fight. Yeah, that's annoying. That's annoying. Cause I only have two mana for the Majonic Beam now. Let me change into something. I can't kill that. Okay. So Nivea Thresh Hecarim. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, the deck code for this deck, Gville. If you ever want the the code, all you have to do is exclamation point deck. That gets you the link, um, and then you know click on there, and you can find like the the deck list link is in there all right so if i shadow flare because that's really annoying because i didn't want to put my solitary monk out there i guess we do have the backup solitary monk though so if we shadow flare basically all shadow flare would do is kill these three spiders to, and kill my solitary monk like is that is that worth it maybe not Maybe not, honestly. Gosh, stop getting this card. Well, I'm definitely discarding one then. You're welcome. And if you ever want to see just, just all my decks that I have that we play, that's the link to all the decks. Six, eight, ten, twelve. I'm down to six. That's how it is, I suppose. Let none disturb my meditation. We, we shall 
Keep on having two mana. I need three. Heimerdinger! Let's go. Imminently logical. So I'm thinking of spending the four man on the thermogenic beam to kill the Callista. Oh, maybe not. They just pass. So do I just pass back? Like we're gonna kill them like my next turn. Kind of feel like we pass back. We don't get the attack in right now, but like, we're going to make a fearsome everything. It's a lot harder for them to kill me right now with me keeping this, right? Hmm. Is, is that even true? Maybe that's not actually true. I should have just passed back. Should have passed back. Wow, yeah, I should have just passed back. Really thought about it. Really thought about pass back there. Exact lethal. Ugh, exact lethal. I knew it. That was my instinct was just to pass back and just go to the next turn. I knew it. I went. I went. Man, I went against my my better judgment. Because it was it was pretty obvious they had you know they. They had stuff that they wanted me to do something right after the Heimerdinger. Oh my gosh, I I do that sometimes. It's, I hit exit game instead of surrender. Whoops. I hope that doesn't just... Uh, I hope my opponent's not just sitting there while I'm just like you know, roping them and hopefully just actually surrenders. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, because I could have survived if, if we were on that same board state, if I would have just passed. Runeterra, open. There we go. I don't like how they, they make the exit game and surrender buttons, you know, like look... They like look the same and they're right next to each other. Exit game surrender. Do y'all do that ever? Do y'all ever ever do that too? Hit exit game. Anyway, I was really, really pleased on how our, our deck looked and how it played. I think that uh the last game was gonna be kinda tough. Um I, th you know, during that turn, if I could, during that game, if I could replay it, I think that we did have to cast the Shadow Flare and kill their three spiders and kill my, my solitary monk. I think we need to do that. Um, we would not have killed the Elise by doing that, but, um, but yeah, that would have just cleared up their battlefield. I, I think that was something we had to do. <laughs> I, I don't know, because I never surrender. I just always win. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I feel, feel like I should have done that. But anyway, yeah, Heimerdinger was still awesome. Man, Heimerdinger was really good for us. 
This card is great. We've been talking up Ezreal over the last week or so, but maybe... Maybe it's not all about Ezreal. Maybe Heimerdinger is still awesome, and people are just kind of sleeping on Heimerdinger these days. Our first two matchups were both the, the two Ezreal decks, Ezreal Karma and Ezreal Draven. And Heimerdinger dominated both of those games. Solitary Monk was amazing for us. Pickpocket was fairly mediocre. But it's a, it's a playable two drop. I uh, unclear if it's more playable than Eager Apprentice, getting us some spell mana. Maybe that's better. I don't know. Usually they have to like use a removal spell on on the pickpocket though, or you know like they have to pay attention to it, and and that helps out your other your other cards though. So that's that's that helps there. But anyway, there's Heimer Karma Control. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and also leave a comment. Let me know what you think about these little shorter videos. You know, like we're about basically an hour length here with these instead of, you know, two hours with going with the 10 matches. Um, so yeah, let me know how you, how you like the, the shorter videos <clears throat> and uh, anything else, you know, leave those comments about the deck, anything, those likes and comments uh, do help out. Um, all right, but that's Heimer Karma Control. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.